Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick video with relation to surveying set out and this is the discussion on just simple origins of where the Australian height datum comes from and how chartered surveyors relate that to state survey marks in turn relating for you as a builder to work out your benchmark and your heights for your, for your job to be built. So the Australian height datum which is dated back in 1971 was mapped through the National Mapping Council of Australia. They carried out simultaneous levels throughout the whole coast to assign zero height for the Australian height datum or AHD. Now there's 30 tide ga gauges around the coast of the Australian continent. Okay, and here's a map to show you that. And that's pretty much where it's all worked from to get contours and heights determined for uh, the state survey marks, which we'll discuss soon, and, and, and heights that can be determined for building purposes. All right. I have the link there for you with Geoscience Australia that you can look at, or www.ga.gov.au. And to make it understandable, we can refer to, say, Sydney. So, Fort Denison is where they set up one of the tide gauge rooms. You can see the schematic there. And what that does is, pretty much just getting the average height between high tide and low tide in simple terms. And then that's when they determine 0, 0.000 metres for the Australian height datum. <coughs> Now I have a little schematic of a tide gauge measuring system and the difference in height between the tide gauge's measuring system and three permanent tide gauge benchmarks nearby is obtained by very precise levelling. So once this difference is obtained and mean sea level is established, the heights of the permanent tide gauge benchmarks are fixed and the benchmark height then becomes the permanent reference datum and that'll be AHD 0 for your sea level. Now from that, we use, or you will see out on the streets where our chartered surveyors will set them, are the state survey marks. And they're brass plaques that are cast into the gutter with a given value or RL. And this level, again in Sydney, has reference to mean sea level at four So it's referenced back, whether it's five metres, ten metres, a thousand, whatever it is. It's, it's also recorded at the Lands Title Office, and generally it is these that a surveyor uses to establish benchmarks. Okay, from that, you will see we have a development with plots of land, and then you will note there is a state survey mark which is established, and that's where it's all worked off. So from those, for example, plots of land, you'll have a house to be built, it's referenced for heights off that state survey mark by a chartered surveyor. So surveyed reference to the benchmark, how does it refer to us? You can see a little schematic here, I've got just the Mr and Mrs Smith building. For example, this could be your state survey mark and our chartered surveyor will give the builder a benchmark. Now, you might have a reduced level of 110 that may not necessarily mean it's 110 from the state survey mark or 110 from the Australian height datum. It is just a reference that the surveyor will give to you. It's recorded in the drawings and then you reference it that back to get your finished floor level for that building. So you will always work off the benchmark, not off the state survey mark. The distance between the state survey mark and the benchmark is to be determined by the ch chartered surveyor. So not you guys. This little section here will be determined by the chartered surveyor. The distance between the benchmark and the works performed on site is to be determined by the builder. Now whether they get a surveyor to work that out, that's up to them to do. But it's their onus from benchmark to finish floor level to work out. All right? So I've just put in another quick shot here of the builder's requirements. So they work from the benchmark, mainly get their deductions or their additions to get their height of collimation or their height, their instrument height, 
and from that that's where they do their distances to work out excavation concrete whatever heights are determined to get their finished floor level and build the building according to plans and specs. I hope that helps. Thanks everyone.